Someone who just buried another man alive. Just be honest. He likes us, and he's a, he's a decent guy. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? It's my two favorite gals. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Uh, like racing's just in your veins. Is all I'm saying. I'll shut up. Scooter, great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just... Mm. Go on, <laughs> Nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron until it pop. But anyway, it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's, uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. Uh, would one of you like open your mouths and make with the wording so I can, I can shut mine? I mean, my uncle always said, never open your mouth. I is that it, Scooter? We are going to space. What? I love space! It's like my fourth favorite thing! Behind tacos, trucks, and heavy eye contact! That all sounds great! Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! Oh wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Oh no. Janie's been like that since she heard about some big bald hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't in much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. You're the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. Hi, Janie. Hi, hat girl. She said it was just an easy protection job. As if anything's ever easy out here. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she was protecting you, but why? She said it wouldn't be dangerous. She said... She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield. I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It doesn't make sense. She can't... Damn it. She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on! You just gotta- I just sit. want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. Like maybe I was just a fluke or something. Hell, you don't need to hear this. Sorry. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh. Goodness. Okay. Oh. Wow. 
Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow. What do you say, ladies? Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it! Off you go. Alright, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. Crap our you ah. are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reeds. It's felt <laughs> huge. Two out of three ain't bad. My office, not your hard on. Whatever. Uh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Okay, dark interior, check. Planetary view, huh? Out the window, check. A chair so soft it could only be made out of supple kitten flesh, check. And if you're a good boy, maybe I'll even let you sit in it. Maybe. You see? I told you so. Wallet, head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. What were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly Ugh. haven't been on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. You know what? Not to blow up your ego, kid, but I see a real future for you at Hyperion. It's kind of future where two like-minded masters of their own fates could deal some serious damage. Huh? If you do as I say, Hyperion may even name a ship after you someday. The SS Jack's Apprentice. Cool, right? You can help me climb the ranks of Hyperion. Climb? That's poor person talk, Reesey. Think rocket-powered yacht to the frickin' moon. Huh? You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? 